when these teams clashed in Columbia, Mizzou had reason to cheer early. But Bob Huggins wound up his cats and had them playing with passion. Mizzou was left scoreboard watching as KSU pointed to a big road win. The Tigers looking for a little payback tonight. Anderson focuses on his first trip to Bramlage Coliseum here in Manhattan, Kansas, trying for one back as the Wildcats were able to beat the Tigers a couple of weeks ago in Columbia. Since then, these teams have been red hot. The Tigers have won two straight in the Big 12. The Wildcats, better than that, they've won five in a row overall, four straight in the Big 12 Conference. Well, hi, everybody. I'm Dave Armstrong along with Chris Piper. Chris, this is a big game midseason. It is big for Kansas State, four in a row. that They're scheduled going to be extremely tough from here on. This is a game they have to hold serve at home on the home court for Missouri, though. They're thinking that Kansas State not going to get 43 free throw attempts this time. It's a game that they think they can win. How about our star watch tonight? Who are the players you're looking for? Well, for Missouri, Stephon Han is a guy that really makes this team go. He struggled last time against Kansas State, though only seven points, but more importantly, spent most of that first half on the bench in foul trouble. He has to be on the floor for Missouri. And David Hoskins, he does so many things for Kansas State. Such a tough matchup. 18 points last time against Missouri. They're fired up here at the Fred. We're ready for this cat fight to begin. And Lance Harris certainly ready. This native of Columbia, Missouri, he has always done well against the Tigers. Will he do that again here tonight? It's the Tigers and the Cats coming up next. Bramlage opened its doors in 1988. The Wildcats have won 210 games here, many of those against the Missouri Tigers. So Mike Anderson comes in here, his first trip, his inaugural journey to Manhattan. Applauding now, we'll see if he's still clapping when all is said and done. So he's a first-year coach of the Tigers. Speaking of first-year head coaches, how about Bob Huggins of the Wildcats? Certainly no rookie, though, in his 25th year overall is a head coach in major college basketball. So let's check out their starting lineups. And we look at the Missouri Tigers. Matt Lawrence, one of the best sharpshooters in the land. If he gets open, look out, it's gold. Jason Horton making his 30th straight start. He is on a streak right now, unlike any other Tiger. Hannah Brown and Grimes will join them. It's Harris, Stewart, Wright, Hoskins, and Cologne, the starting five for the Wildcats. First guy off their bench will be Cartier Martin, their leading scorer. So when we look at these two teams, uh, Huggins and the Wildcats and Anderson with the Tigers, from Bramlage Coliseum, we welcome you in for Big 12 basketball. The Tigers, who have won two straight, and in fact, you could go back to the Kansas game in Lawrence, where the Tigers were playing well, and Bob Huggins, he has his team in uncharted waters right now, Chris. They have a four-game winning streak in the Big 12. They've never done that in Big 12 play before. Well, five games overall as well, that game against Chicago State, and you know, they're doing on the defensive end. This isn't a great offensive team for Kansas State, so it's very important important for them to manage the clock, manage the possession, try and get as high quality a shot as possible. And usually that means getting some touches for David Hoskins. He has such a tough matchup inside and great motion offense that they run, trying to work something in close to the basket. The important thing for Kansas State, though, is trying to find those easy opportunities. And what helped them so much in Columbia was getting to the free throw line. 43 free throw attempts, a phenomenal number there. And anytime you can get to the free throw line, make easy points, that helped Kansas State's offense. Chris, one of the things they found here in Manhattan, a lot of folks now, they have sold out this season, sold out here tonight again, and they're all here despite a snowstorm that rocked mid-Kansas today. But boy, it didn't stop these fans from trudging up I-70 and down 177 Highway to get here tonight. Well, no reason that the basketball can't coach can't uh, coach the fans as well, and he coached the students, uh, admonished them for not showing up a couple games ago, and they've come out in full force, and they've been fired up ever since they let him in here. And, you know, that's what this Kansas State program needs is to be able to get its feet back under it. You've got to have that home court advantage. You've got to get the crowds coming out, and they're starting to get that going. The students who like to hang out at Aggieville, they've created Huggyville here at Bramlage Coliseum. So when you look at the overall standings in the Big 12 Conference, 
Kansas, they're on top at 6-1. Texas A&M next at 5-1. A&M playing against Iowa State tonight. They can join the Jayhawks at 6-1 with a win against the Cyclones at home. Those two teams will be going head-to-head -head this coming Saturday at Allen Fieldhouse. Texas also holding fourth at 5-1. Mike Anderson's team, they're starting to make some noise after they're dropping their first four conference games. They've won two in a row. You consider this, though, that two and four record are really misleading for the Tigers. They lost by 20 to Texas, but the other three losses by a total of eight points. And probably one of their best games is at Kansas. I think they really established how they had to play with intensity in that Kansas game, and they've carried over from that. Kansas State in their home white with the uniform, with the uh, ball, I should say, the uniform of the Tigers, their road black. Hoskins. Boy, he's a tough matchup, and Hoskins gets K-State off to a good start. Nice post up inside to David Hoskins. He just turned and squared up. Marshall Brown's got to get a little tighter. Brown tries a three. That's off target. Rebound comes out to Hoskins. Stewart with a quick first step. Back to right. He turns down a three. Cologne. No room to go with Grimes guarding him. Long three. Got it! Wow, Akeem Wright. And Akeem Wright shooting 29% on the season, and he just felt he wasn't being guarded close enough. Rose right up, but a nice decision by Cologne not to take that attempt inside as well. He's not a guy who's going to score over the top, and Kalen Grimes is going to make him do that. Pipe, no secret, the Wildcats have struggled at times scoring this year. It's got to be a welcome relief for them to hit their first two shots. Well, and any time you can get an outside shot to fall for Kansas State as well, even better. Lance Harris really, right now, their best percentage shooter on the outside. You know Cartier Martin can do it as well, but... And Harris misses, but Hoskins there. Brown with a partial block, and he deflects it out of bounds. It'll stay with the Wildcats. Yeah. Missouri can't be real happy about the offensive rebound that they gave up. That's the one place besides a free throw line that Kansas State dominated in Columbia. 41 to 17 rebound advantage. Wait a minute, what did you say? 14 of those on the offensive. 41 line. to 17. 41 to 17. I don't know How about if I've that? ever seen that before. Against two teams that are so evenly matched. Three pointer. Go! Kansas State efficient on the offensive end, and one of the ways you do that in the half court is to move the ball, swinging around. Look at the good ball moving. The pick coming up top, and Kansas State doing a nice job of trying to figure out their open spots on the floor. And here comes the pick, and Clint Stewart just comes off that so wide open right there. And David Hoskins, look at the space that he's allowed to shoot that. Not very much intensity by Missouri on the defensive end, and Mike Anderson calls the quick timeout. Well, the Tigers, this is coming out of nowhere for Mike Anderson and his team, but for Clint Stewart, this is such a great moment for him. When you look at what Clint Stewart has had to endure this year and this hot start that the Wildcats are on, Stewart came in, and he wasn't even sure he was going to play much this year. They recruited Blake Young. They recruited Jermaine Maybank. They were trying to get Stefan Hanna to come here. So they were looking at three different point guards, and yet here he is entering this game. Clint Stewart back the starter for the Wildcats. Now Hanna tries a three. That's a little bit short. The rebound goes off of Brown's fingertips, and it goes to Harris. Here comes Stewart pushing that ball. Harris, he finds Hoskins, who's smothered and fouled. Now, Kansas State just extremely aggressive. I think the best place to attack a defense is early in transition before they're able to get their feet set. And Kansas State coming down, looking aggressively, and then a great pass from the top inside. David Hoskins, so smart, crafty at finding open spots inside. Good free throw shooter, too, at 78% on the year. Hoskins, the only Wildcat that started all 21 games. The foul there was on Grimes, his first. Quite a start for the Wildcats. A 10 nothing lead. Lawrence. 
is free for three. They got it in the hands of a man who is money from the outside. Well, you need some points. Find Matt Lawrence. It's so tough to guard him. He's using so many screens, especially down on the baseline. Watch him just work underneath. Comes off the screen. Nice drive by Stefan Hanna to make the defense fall off, looking to, for the help side. But when you're guarding Matt Lawrence, you've got to be able to just show a little bit. You can't get so far off him that you can't get back to him on the catch. Pretty good for the Tigers. Matt Lawrence, the guy who came on an academic scholarship. Yeah, what, 1.5 points a game last year? Yep. Buried deep on the bench. Average, this year's come out. Averaging 12 this year. Right, that's a two. Well, Keen Wright's feeling it right now, isn't he? Again, man right on him, just rose over the top. That was a guarded jumper, you're right. Hannah being guarded by Harris. Trying to skirt the baseline, but he put a sneaker on that line. A nice defense by Lance Harris. He's given just enough space on Stefan Hanna that he's able to take that quick first step out of it. But with his length, he'll be able to get back to Stefan Hanna if he goes up with a jumper. Hanna hoping he doesn't have another nightmare against the Wildcats. Had only seven points against K-State in that earlier meeting. 0 for 5 from three-point range, only 2 for 9 overall. Grimes, a little bit of a gamble. Right again with a hand in his face. That time it's short. And here comes Jason Horton. Well, they covered up on Lawrence in a hurry. Now Brown, a rainbow three. Cologne makes it one and done. Now Missouri had numbers there. And all they ended up with was a long three. Hanna reach in foul. That's his first. Yeah, and that's where Stefan Hanna will get himself in trouble. He got himself in trouble early in Columbia. The reach-in fouls out on the perimeter. Always looking for the steal, and sometimes when you're going for the steal, you get out of position with your feet, end up with a body foul. Stefan Hanna picked up two fouls in the first eight minutes in Columbia and then sat most of the rest of that first half. And the Kansas State Wildcats went to the line 43 times in that game and made 37 of those. 37 points at the line. That's almost half of what they had in the game. Good spin move. And a great tip in. Boy, the Cats are really crashing the board. Well, when you post up Cartier Martin down low, he's going to draw the double, and Cologne feels his man go off of him, and he just crashes on the offensive boards. When he gets a couple points, that's gravy for Kansas State. It is, because he's only averaging three a game. Nice soft touch Leo for Leo Lyons. Lyons. And that's a difference that Leo Lyons will give from Missouri rather than Kalen Grimes, the ability to step out 10, 11 feet, face up jumper. He's much more comfortable facing the basket. Harris trying to get a little space against Lawrence. Nice little hook in the lane. Easy shots right now for Kansas State. They're running their offense and getting quick looks inside. Akeem Wright with a foul for the Wildcats. But right now, the Cats are firing on all cylinders, hitting from everywhere and leading 16-5. Back after this from your friends at Phillips 66. engine clean? Use Phillips 66 Quality Pro Clean Gasolines. They meet the tough standards to help keep your engine running its best. Phillips 66 Quality Pro Clean Gasolines. Cow! Good, Aaron. Cow. Cow! Yes, sweetie, cow. Cow! Paul, where are the burgers? For breakfast, try Chick-fil-A's Tasty Chicken Biscuits, Chicken Minis, or Breakfast Burritos. 
So I'm looking at my new furniture when Debbie calls. She says, hi, I hear you got new furniture. I said, yep. At Ashley Furniture Home Store's big event, there's no interest until 2011 and no payments until 2008. She says, I love Ashley. I said, who doesn't? She said, with no interest until 2011, plus no payments till 2008. I could get a leather sofa, a kitchen table, anything I wanted. I said, do it soon. The big event ends Monday. She said, Monday? I said, you better hurry. 200 Sarber Lane in Manhattan. Big 12 basketball is brought to you by Philip 66. Next time you're empty, fill up with Philip 66 quality pro clean gasolines. By Red Lobster, it's jumbo shrimp at Red Lobster starting at 11.99. By Advance Auto Parts for the best parts, people, and prices, we're ready in advance. By Whataburger, just like you like it. And by Infinity, makers of the all-new 306 horsepower G design, Beyond Machine. Right now, it's Kansas State off to a sizzling start, hitting 60% of their field goals so far, and leading 16 to 5. On top of that, Bob Huggins' team, Chris, they are wiping the glass clean. Well, that's where they had the huge advantage in Missouri, seven rebounds to one advantage there. Just all, all over the glass. And the thing about that game, when you ask Mike Anderson, his guys just weren't aggressive enough. And obviously, Bob Huggins got his guys aggressive. But the most important number for Kansas State right now, zero turnovers. So that pressure the Tigers normally apply to opponents not affecting K-State so far tonight. Hannah working off a couple of high picks. Now Lawrence comes around the wing. His three-pointer is no good. And again, one and done for the Tigers. There was no one there for Missouri on the offensive glass. Well, staggered pick on the outside, making it look like they're looking for Stephon Hanna, but they sneak Matt Lawrence in from the backside. Cartier Martin being guarded by Lyons, and Martin just throws it away, looking for Harris, and Harris was cut into the basket. Now Kansas State struggled a little bit today in the shoot-around executing offense. This team still trying to figure out the Bob Huggins system, and that time Lance Harris is supposed to make that backdoor cut. They'd isolated the play for him on that side. Everybody else was on the left side and didn't figure it out until too late, and Cartier Martin thought he had to pass it to him. So wrong page there for those guys. Yeah, it was interesting watching shoot-around today with Coach Huggins and his sense of frustration with his team really not totally grasping the offense, the sets that they have to run. Well, and it was a different guy each time for yeah. him as well, and that was the big problem. It, you know, the one thing is, when you've got a play set up for yourself to score, you better run that thing right. See if Missouri can start picking it up on the defensive end. And they did right there. Hannah got in the way of Martin. Now here comes Hannah, trying to get into the paint. Count that little roll. Nice shot by Stefan Hanna. That's the thing about this Missouri team. They can get down 10 and then get right back in it in a, in a heartbeat. Well, they're going to always be aggressive. Look to score. That can help you when you're down sometimes. Also hurts you when you're up and you're still looking. And that team's back in. Again, that earlier meeting, K-State led by 16 in the second half. Missouri came climbing back in and wound up losing by only four. Nice double team on the catch that time on David Hoskins. Had nowhere to go. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see if Missouri can get Marshall Brown involved in their offense in the first half. Tough pass from Leo Lyons. He threw it into traffic. Harris, three-pointer, no. That's the first three-point miss by the Wildcats. Here comes Brown, coast to coast. He's fouled. He'll go to the line. The foul there is on Blake Young. Quick outlet there by Missouri, and Marshall Brown kind of got caught up around the half-court line when that shot went up, and so he saw that his guys had the rebound, and he went ahead and got out early in transition. You see the numbers right on Brown, Chris, in the uh, season, averaging 11 a game. But in the Big 12, he is averaging 17 points a game. 13 of those come in the second half. So it takes him a while to get warmed up. 
most of the time it's because he gets in early foul trouble and he sits most of the first half. Well, he's a guy that they really got to have on the floor. I mean, at the forward spot, he's their best pure scorer that they have. And when he's not active, it really puts a lot of load on Stefan Hanna. Scored 28 against these Wildcats last year. Hits both free throws, and Missouri inching their way back in this thing. Down now by only seven. Now checking in now is Daryl Butterfield for the Tigers. And getting a rest will be Marshall Brown. Pretty good when you get your big man to bring the ball up court like that. Hoskins is a rare player, isn't he? Well, he's 6'5", you know. Yeah. I mean, he, he can play inside, he can play outside, although he's much better shoot, uh, suited scoring inside the three-point line. Three-pointer rattles out. Martin, though, on that offensive glass again. That's 10 rebounds for the Wildcats to only two for the Tigers. Now, Missouri's got to figure out a way to get a body on the Kansas State players. That shot goes up. you got to go get contact and keep him off the glass. Ray Martin just slipping right in through there. And when they give up the offensive rebound, that is the prime time for you to get the foul. You're always out of position. Tiller picked up the foul. Cartier Martin, 77% from the line. He is uh, moving up the scoring charts here at Kansas State. Now has 1,256 career points. Needs just 48 more to pass Ed Neely. Every name he passes now will be a recognizable yeah, one big name. to all the Wildcat fans. Well, a lot of history for this Kansas State program. I'd like to see him embrace that history. I agree. I think they're going to do more and more of that. Hannah, that won't go. Lions tried to flush it home. Butterfield with a long rebound. Now Hannah for three. It worked out better for the Tigers. Yeah, it did. Got an extra point out of that. Stephon Hannah. It's been th just three of his last 18 from three, but he was able to size that one up, get his feet set. Now look how Kansas State has that offense. Starts it up, one four up high, trying to get cuts to the basket. Good ball reversal. They have so much action inside the lane. Hoskins spinning into the paint. Tiller picks up his second foul. Hoskins will be going to the line when we come back. But Stefan Hanna trying to lead the Tigers back. It was Stefan Hanna who turned down the Wildcats to play for Mizzou. Studio on Wheels, inside the all-new Infinity G. Sound beyond machine. There are five ways to satisfy a jumbo shrimp craving, and only one place to do it. It's Jumbo Shrimp at Red Lobster, starting at $11.99. Choose your irresistible favorite, like hand-breaded jumbo crunch fried or mouth-watering jumbo scampi. Or try new Mediterranean jumbo shrimp pasta. Tender shrimp tossed in Italian herb butter with artichokes, fresh tomatoes, and sautéed onions. It's Jumbo Shrimp for a limited time, only at Red Lobster. You see a lot of bumper stickers on the road these days for dog lovers and cat people. Optimists have bumper stickers, and so do pessimists. There are stickers for scholars and <clears throat> sports fans. But there's one sticker that makes sense for everyone. In fact, 9 out of 10 shelter customers would recommend this to someone else. Shelter insurance. Seek shelter today. Are all fast food biscuits fresh? Our fresh biscuits are just the best. A lot of people probably wouldn't even know that they're frozen. A fresh biscuit is frozen. At that point, the biscuit moves on through a truck, drives through America, then comes to me, at which point I begin the process of unfreezing it. Then the biscuit goes in the oven, and then the biscuit comes to you, fresh and good, in theory. There's nothing fresh about frozen biscuits. 
The made from scratch Monster Biscuit. New at Hardee's. And Bob Huggins during that last time out, having a long chat with Ed Hightower, our umpire in tonight's game. Kansas State leads right now by six. When we show you Gary Link, one of the broadcasters for the Missouri Tigers, because we want to talk about the Lynx. Golf fans and club pros, not too early to start thinking about the 2007 ESPN National Golf Challenge. Log on to ESPNGolf.com, register your team, or sign up. Your course is a qualifying site, part of the search for America's best twosome. Chris, I have tried every partner this year to be my partner in this. Everyone so far has turned me down. Well, uh, you'd have to get me to the golf course first to be your partner, and since it's been like a year, you might not want me out there. Well, we, we're possible? both in the same boat, yeah. though. We could both <laughs> just <laughs> enjoy each other's company in the trees and the trap. Yeah, you should have taken your partner from last Saturday. That's the best partner you'll well, get. Well, I really begged yeah. and pleaded with John Sunbold, but he wouldn't have anything to do with it. Stacy King mentioned that he might want to be my partner, but he can't break 100, so. Well, he'd never sure. give you the golf ball either, so. Well, that's true. <laughs> At least I'd pass it. <laughs> Hoskins off to a good start. That's his sixth point of this game. Keon Lawrence, that three is off target. Two for seven now. The Tigers from three point range. Instant offense off the bench for Missouri. Keon Lawrence, he's coming out looking to shoot. Not shy, that freshman, is he? Not at all. Zone now by Missouri. Starts out 1-1-3, one, one, drops back to the 2-3. Something a little different from the Tigers. A little wrinkle. See how the Wildcats handle that. No, Wright had a great look at it. A great spot right there in the zone. Found a little area. Wasn't able to hit the jumper. Instant offense again with a left hand. He gets the roll. Now tough play there. Tough shot moving that to his left. Able to get back across his body. But Keon Lawrence is a guy who can do it off the drive. He can pull up. But it's all about shot selection for him. And right trap for a moment. Good ball movement by K-State. Maybank tries a three. That won't go. Lyon saves it. But all the way out to right. That's normally just easy shot for him. Now Hannah out to Lawrence for three. There he is, the microwave, instant offense. He's beaten up. And he, Missouri's best offense tonight is that early offense. First five, six, seven seconds. In the zone by Missouri, trying to pick a man in their area, match up with him. the top of the high post area. That's where Kansas State's finding that little seam. You know, it looks right now that this defense is really bothering Kansas State, but they've gotten good looks. They just haven't hit those shots. How about that, though? On the offensive glass, nothing wrong about that for Maybank. Nice shot by Maybank coming here on the strong side, down low. Weak spot of the zone, able to find the angle. Whoa, what happened there? Kansas State, it was like they almost went over to their huddle or something. They left an entire side of the court vacant. That's called the clear out, and they, they did a pretty good job of it. That's one of those plays Bob Huggins had kind of saw him today in practice. He just, not much he could say. I'm a little speechless myself. I think so was Marcus Watkins. He didn't know what to do for a second. Lions trying to back in, offensive charge. Hoskins able to go to the court. And that's two on Lions. Watch this uh, lack of defense by Kansas State. They just all go. And look at the angle there. He's coming right at the basket. I mean, just wide open. In fact, you know, the bad thing about it is, number one, no communication for Kansas State defensively. But number two, nobody saw ball. Yeah. They all had their head turned the other way. Isn't that one of the primary things you're supposed to do is watch the ball? Watkins is like, I can't believe how wide open that was. Yeah, you generally, uh, you learn to uh, see man and ball fairly early in basketball, and they just kind of <laughs> forgot that one. 
that's one to look at on tape, I'm sure, yeah. later on. And Huggins will just look at his team. I don't know what he's going to say to him, but I don't know what you can say. Now what are we reviewing right now? And the officials are over now going to take a look at something. Steve Wellmer comes over to take a look. Now we're going to look again. Was this a two or a three is what they're trying to determine. Oh, wait a minute. On the offensive charge, what are they looking at there? Well, you can go back and review a play prior to the possession, I believe, but I haven't heard exactly what they're looking at. I don't think there was any doubt that was an offensive charge. No, I don't think they, so they weren't looking at that. You can't. Uh, that's not something you can go to the monitor for. No. I, I, originally, we were told they were looking to see whether the shot by Keon Lawrence, whether he had a foot on the line or not. Huggins had a bird's eye view of it. You see Brad Ferry putting his hand up as if that's a three. Now he came down in two territory, but when he was lifting off, he originally called it a three. Yeah, I'll take a look at the right toe just back up a second there. There it is right underneath and looks like he's got that right toe just barely on the line, but I don't know if he'll be able to overrule because that's it's kind of a judgment. It's hard to pick up there. Yeah. And Wright gets in the way right yeah. there. I don't know. He might have been just a, a hair. Now they're going to say it's a two. They're going to overrule the call on the court. Called the foot on the line. I didn't see. Honestly, Chris, I didn't think there was enough evidence yeah, there to overturn the call. But they did and made it a two. Still, though, a nice run for the Tigers. A 15 to 8 run over the last 6 minutes 47 seconds. They trailed by 11 once upon a time in this game, but the Wildcats have let the Tigers back in this game only a four point contest. Well, Kansas State starts 6 of 10 from the field. They're 1 of 7 since that time. Hoskins. That three. stopping Kansas State but the fact of the matter was Kansas State was getting looks they just weren't able to get him to fall until Hoskins hitting that three. Butterfield that won't go. Well, probably not the best shot from Missouri in that situation. Look Butterfield about two steps out of his range. Give it up. Hoskins. Watkins went down in the paint. Nothing called there. And I, right now the Tigers are screaming about that. Basket would have counted had it gone. A foul here on K-State. So Mike Anderson not happy at all. It seems like to him the calls are going the Wildcats way. Right now it's K-State still holding the Tigers at arm's length. Back after this from your friends at Phillips 66. Honey, I think I found the problem. Want an easy way to keep your engine clean? Use Phillips 66 Quality Pro Clean Gasolines. They meet the tough standards to help keep your engine running its best. Phillips 66 Quality Pro Clean Gasolines. Like a force of nature, Infinity Acceleration Swell Technology unleashes power in a way that feels virtually endless. The all-new Infinity G. 306 horsepower beyond machine. When you're digging into a honey barbecue chicken strip sandwich, it's easy to get carried away. But don't forget about those fries. They've got feelings, too. The Honey Barbecue Chicken Strip Sandwich from Whataburger. Three big crispy chicken strips with honey barbecue sauce and melted Monterey Jack on a toasted bun. What a burger! Just like you like it. 
All new. How did they do that? A top secret performance. I've never seen anything like this. That was fantastic. A brilliant invention that makes women look thinner. Oh, my goodness. Plus the million-dollar moment that left me speechless. Tomorrow's open. Tomorrow at 4. It's Big 12 basketball this Saturday on your 27 News Channel. First up at 3, it's Oklahoma State on the road to take on Colorado. Then at 7, it's Texas Tech at Oklahoma. Big 12 basketball this Saturday on your 27 News Channel. 66, proud to be the presenting sponsor of Big 12 basketball. Next time you're on empty, fill up with Phillips 66, quality pro-clean gasoline, recognized as top tier. They help clean your engine as you drive. You know, Mike Anderson having a chat with Ed Hightower, who is an equal opportunity referee tonight, listening to both of these head coaches. And then Mike Anderson gave his team an earful as Kansas State, with 27 points already in this game, has scored a 61 total in their win against Nebraska in their last contest. Quick step into the paint. That's a good look. Marshall Brown. Yeah, nice job to get Marshall Brown posted up inside against Akeem Wright. Kansas State not doubling him down in that position. Cleared out the side. A strong move. Pop over the top. Back in that zone now for the Tigers. State working that rotation there in the paint. Harris can't get it to go. Lawrence going for the rebound, and he tips it out of bounds. And State doing a pretty good job of being patient on this offensive end, Dave. They're trying to get the ball inside. They're letting their three guys work, making those cuts through the lane, see if they can get that ball at the high post. Hoskins can't get it to go. Tipped out. Here comes Horton. He gives it up for Brown, who is fouled by Harris. Harris picks up his first personal. His first personal foul for the team. And it's four on the Wildcats this half. You see Missouri up to 42%. Kansas State's come back to earth. They were shooting 60% earlier. Wildcats still have a huge advantage on the glass, like they had in game one. Or they out rebounded the Tigers, and I still can't believe this number 41 to 17. Well, 14 8 advantage here tonight, five of those being on the offensive end for Kansas State. And I want to correct what I said earlier about Marshall Brown scoring 28 against Kansas State. I said last year, I meant a couple of weeks ago, when they were in Columbia, he scored those 28. 24 of those came in the second half alone. He's off to a much better start in this contest. He already has a half dozen. Hoskins had it poked away. Grimes picks it up. Horton gives it up for Hannah. Three-pointer, no. Good rebound by Marshall Brown. Oh, he came from a long way to get that. And then got pinned on the sideline and called a timeout. 6.22 remaining here in the first half. I want to remind you, one of our Big 12 partners is Chick-fil-A. We didn't invent the chicken, just the chicken sandwich. Hope that didn't do any damage to your television screen at home. Right now, it's the Wildcats leading 27-22, but the Tigers are getting back in this game. You see Florida playing like a number one team right now, beating Vanderbilt. 74-64. Well, Wisconsin losing to Indiana. Indiana. Elvis Sampson and those Hoosiers. 12 and 0 at home this season. Yeah. North Carolina. Wow. Over Miami. How about their win against Arizona last week? Well, that was a game Arizona missed their first 15 threes. Jeez. Memphis and Central Florida just getting underway. Now we'll see how Missouri can do in the half-court offense. Their success has been an early transition. Brown backs up. That's well short. Hannah couldn't grab the rebound. And the Tigers have had their hands on some balls for rebounds, but they can't hang on. Cartier, Mark. 
the spin move with the left hand. He kind of forced that one a little bit. Here comes Stewart, two on one. Squeezes a pass into a keen right. That won't go. And the rebound comes back out to right. Now to Harris. He turns down a three. Oh, oh my, a big collision with Harrison Grimes. Harris, watch him here. He's just going to make the drive down the baseline. Matt Lawrence way over playing him. <laughs> he tries to yank there on David Hoskins. Unbelievable move. Let's take a look at the high post here. Watch the work here. He's going to come in. Cartier Martin just going to work his way into the middle of this lane here. And that area has been wide open for Kansas State. The, the uh, Missouri defense, the guards are up so high on the perimeter. And the baseline guys are down so low, especially off that action, trying to guard the baseline that Kansas State sneaking in from the backside, getting into the middle of that zone. So that 15-footer will be open in this zone. It's been open how many times we've seen yeah, it. They, they've missed it three, shot, three, three times that I can remember, but they've got that spot. That's what we were saying earlier. The Tigers look like they're good in this zone defense, but a lot of that is because the Wildcats weren't making them pay on hittable shots. with a quick little hook shot. That won't go. Lyons is there with the offensive glass. Now Hannah. He gives it up. Horton tries a three. That's way long. Offensive rebound. Third crack at it for the Tigers. It's not a lot of inside presence for Missouri, and so Kansas State able to force out on the perimeter. And now where do your shots come from if you're Missouri? That's why there's so much more effective early transition. Plenty of time here with that shot clock. It's at 15, so it's still plenty of time. That Kansas State defense is four around the perimeter. Now Hannah free for a three. Got it. Rattles one home. And Missouri with a big three there to pull back within five. Mistake by Kansas State trying to show too much down low on a presence that's not going to be able to score down there. And you give up the wide open jumper out top. But that's what Missouri has to do is make Kansas State honor them inside. More aggressive possession defensively here for Missouri. Stewart. Nice look. Well, he's been so much more solid in Big 12 play, hasn't he? Good balance about his game. And an offensive foul here on Marshall Brown. That's his first. We'll be back after this from your friends at Phillips 66. Hey. Hey. That'll be uh, 75. It, it's usually $30. I went to Vegas last weekend. Pretty crazy. Although it seemed like you were having a much better time. So, 75? Yep. Nice job on the lawn today. We aim to please. If you're looking to ramp up your ride, get ready. Advance Auto Parts has a special order center just for you. You're a one-of-a-kind, one-stop shop for everything you could ever want in parts and performance accessories. Everything from lift kits to cool custom accessories is ready for direct-to-your-door delivery or convenient in-store pickup. When you want the most complete selection of parts and accessories, the only place to go is the Special Order Center in Advance Auto Parts. We're ready in advance. There are five ways to satisfy a jumbo shrimp craving, and only one place to do it. It's Jumbo Shrimp at Red Lobster, starting at $11.99. Choose your irresistible favorite, like hand-breaded jumbo crunch fried or mouth-watering jumbo scampi. Or try new Mediterranean jumbo shrimp pasta. Tender shrimp tossed in Italian herb butter with artichokes, fresh tomatoes, and sautéed onions. It's Jumbo Shrimp for a limited time, only at Red Lobster. All businesses start out as ideas. At Shelter, the idea was simple. Offer great insurance, great performance, and great agents. That way, people can concentrate on the really important parts of life. 
So while you're doing things like this, we manage to do this. And if you ever do something like this, it's good to know this. At Shelter, we take care of things so you can get on with your life. Well, Missouri, they're struggling right now. They've had only one field goal over the last four minutes and 54 seconds. Kansas State has outscored 13 to 7 over that stretch. And remind you that this ESPN Plus game brought to you by Whataburger, just like you liked it. From Bramlage Coliseum on the campus of Kansas State University, we welcome you to Manhattan, the Little Apple. With Chris Piper, I'm Dave Armstrong. Glad to have you with us courtside here at the Fred. And you see Missouri now down to 38% from the field. Kansas State for them, 46%. They'll take it. I mean, here's the thing about that Missouri offense, nine field goals made, they've got seven assists on those nine field goals. So that kind of tells you how they're getting that offense, and that's in the early transition. If they have to go against a set Kansas State defense, they have not been very effective. So they're back into a man-to-man -man here. Bennett almost loses the handle, and now we've got a whistle and a foul. This one on Cartier Martin setting a low pick. And that's the first on Martin. Bob Huggins with a wry smile. Well, Kansas State's been to the line eight times here tonight compared to 43 in Columbia, so Missouri doing a better job of not fouling. Well, they got some catching up to do. Yeah. Picked by Leo Lyons. How about that? Keon Lawrence again. Oh, he's so fast off the dribble, plus the ability to pull up really makes you have to stay up on him tight. Opportunity here, and there he is, the freshman Bennett. Well, a nice job by Clint Stewart drawing the defense to him, but the ability for Jason Bennett just to catch the ball gives him the two points. That's the toughest thing in his game right now is getting those big hands to wrap around that ball. Chris, that's one of the things about the Tigers. When they trap like that on the far baseline, if the opposing team is able to beat that trap, then all of a sudden you've got numbers in your favor. And Bennett was the beneficiary of the strong move by Clint Stewart. I love of Clint Stewart pushing the ball down the floor. And great point guards make the other team react. Watch him just driving straight down the lane here, making the defense react, come to him. And that opens up Jason Bennett for the pass. Nice job by Clint Stewart. His job is to make the defense react and then read off of that. And he makes him commit the biggest target in Kansas State history. All seven, three of them, Jason Bennett. Hanna, he's got 10 points in this first half. It's amazing when Stephon Hanna drives. It's almost like he's carrying the ball on his hip there once he gets in there. Feeling all that contact and inability to get it back up and get the release. It's like an old gunslinger, isn't it? He's got it cocked in there waiting to go and then he shoots it. <laughs> Under two minutes to go here in this first half. Harris, that three's well off target. Martin going for the rebound, and Hannah reaches in after he grabs it. So Hannah picks up his second foul. Well, Stephon Hannah, watch him just coming down the lane. Look where that defense is going. They're all just going opposite directions, and Stephon Hannah comes right down the middle. See how he kind of catches that ball behind? Once he picks up the dribble, he kind of gets it on his hip to regroup, gets the contact, and then the finish. That is some strange defense by the Wildcats. A couple times now, we've seen them go away from the ball. It's almost like they're an opposite that magnet being repelled. Yeah, they've had a few breakdowns, but you know, that's the thing I, I think that they're struggling with right now is being able to get that consistency level up. I mean, right now it's maybe about 75%, and if, as they get better, get up 80%, but when you give possessions away, that makes it very tough, and that's why they spent so much time capitalizing or trying to capitalize on the defensive end. Cartier Martin coming off the bench now. He's been a starter for the last several years here for Kansas State. He gave up that starting spot to a guy named Bill Walker, who was on his way to an outstanding freshman campaign until he tore his ACL. You know, even after Walker left with that injury, as Brown 
He gets the soft touch after a strong move. Now, even after that injury, Cartier Martin still coming off the bench. And there is the aforementioned Bill Walker. Really sad to see him go. He was great for K-State, great for the Big 12, and really great for college basketball. Not only he was able to play six games at sixth one, five minutes against Texas A&M, but you know the thing about him, offensively Kansas, for Kansas State, you could just give him the ball and he could go make something happen. And David Hoskins is that version as well, but he's about a three-inch shorter version. Right now a cheerleader has already had the ACL surgery. And we'll be back next year for Kansas State. He'll be joined by the top recruits in the country. In fact, number one on a lot of websites, Michael Beasley, Rivals.com, has him pegged as number one. I don't think anybody doesn't have him pegged as number one. He's tremendous. So Beasley will be joining the Wildcats next year. Thrown out of bounds, but deflected by K-State. 43.6 seconds to go first half. You know, I, I don't know about you, Dave, but I almost feel like Kansas State has had complete control of this game this first half, but Missouri's only down by five. I agree. I concur, Mr. Piper. Lions. Oh, oh, big time job. Yep. That'll be no basket. Offensive charge. That was a hook. Easy to see. Second foul on Lions, and both of them have been offensive. That was called on number five of the Tigers, Leo Lyons, his second personal foul, ninth team foul on Missouri. You know, Kansas State playing down in the post, basically with guards. Cartier Martin, David Hoskins guarding down in there. That's a move for Leo Lyons, that if he can't get around to the basket, he needs to try and go over the top. You see the time remaining in this first half as Bob Huggins will call that one timeout you lose if you don't take it, so why not? He'll set up his offense for what could be the last shot of this first half. The shot clock is turned off. But I agree with what you are saying earlier, Chris, that really Kansas State has dominated this first half. In every way, shape, and form, they've out-rebounded Missouri 18-12 to in this game. They've outshot them by just a few percentage points now. They're 9 of 10 from the free throw line and just 4 of 4 for Missouri in this game. And yet, here the Tigers are really not playing their best. It's kind of like a repeat of the game one where Missouri, they let Kansas State shoot 43 free throws. They were out rebounded 41 to 17. They had their star player, Stefan Hanna, score only seven points, and yet they lost by just four. Yeah, you find ways to win, and I, I think that speaks to what Mike Anderson is doing at Missouri, because in the past, Missouri, quite frankly, found ways to lose, and now they're finding ways to stay in the game, even though you don't play your best basketball and things aren't going your best way. You, but, they, you know, they've made just enough shots. I think the early transition offense has, has been key for them to be able to get some opportunities right at the basket early without having to try and grind it out against the set defense. Hannah, you saw sitting over on the bench. He's there with two fouls. Harris tried a fancy pass into Martin. It was picked off. Deion Lawrence, plenty of time for him to score. There was more than a second on the clock. And a three-quarter court shot was taken and missed. So how about that? Missouri, they go into their locker room trailing by just three. Kansas State leading by just three. 36-33. We came out to the Wabash Cannon Mall. All set to go in this contest. Bob Huggins had his team leading by as many as 11, but the Tigers have clawed back within three. Studio on Wheels. Inside the all new Infinity G. Sound beyond machine. When you're digging into a honey barbecue chicken strip sandwich, it's easy to get carried away. But don't forget about those fries. They've got feelings too. 
The Honey Barbecue Chicken Strip Sandwich from Whataburger. Three big crispy chicken strips with honey barbecue sauce and melted Monterey Jack on a toasted bun. What a burger! Just like you like it. Winter, a time to raise the heat. But as anticipation builds, the question remains how to exceed expectations. Patience, because a game breaks down in time. Be wary of the minutes, but it's the seconds that change everything. For the moment will fall, so take the risk and play like there's no tomorrow. The NCAA Winter Championships on ESPN, ESPN2, and ESPNU. No other weekly financial publication moves the markets like Barron's. It provides the knowledge, insight, and foresight that allow you to stay one step ahead. Subscribe now and you'll also receive Barron's Online with its daily columns, market analysis, and tools like the Stock Screener and the Stock Grader. Get 13 weeks of Barron's and Barron's Online all for only $39. Call now, toll free, 800-334-6600. That's 800-334-6600. Welcome you back to Manhattan, Bramlage Coliseum. We've brought Studio 66 with us on the road here to the Little Apple. And at halftime, Kansas State, they led by 11, not anymore. That lead has been trimmed to three, 36-33. Let's check out some other scores from around the Big 12 tonight. Two other games were going on tonight. One of them already a final as Texas A&M moves into a tie with Kansas atop the Big 12 at 6-1 and one, as they beat Iowa State 73-49. to 49. At the half, it's Texas Tech at home where they're 10-1, and one, including wins over both Texas A&M and Kansas. They have a first-half lead over Kevin Durant and the Texas Longhorns, 42-38. And speaking of Kevin Durant, let's take a look at our Phillips 66 Player of the Week. He is the aforementioned Kevin Durant. For the third time in the last four weeks, he averaged 30 points and 12 rebounds in two Longhorn victories. In those two games, he was 19 of 36 from the field, 6 of 12 from three-point range, and 84% from the line, 16 of 19. In the Big 12's 10-plus seasons, folks, he's earned three of the six weekly player honors ever awarded to a freshman. Plus, he also holds the Big 12 record for the most total weekly awards in one year with seven, three of those player of the week, four rookie of the week campaigns. He is a dominant player in this conference as a freshman. Once again, the Wildcats lead this one 36-33. We're back after this from your friends at Phillips 66. Honey, I think I found the problem. Want an easy way to keep your engine clean? Use Phillips 66 Quality Pro Clean Gasolines. They meet the tough standards to help keep your engine running its best. Phillips 66 Quality Pro Clean Gasolines. There are five ways to satisfy a jumbo shrimp craving, and only one place to do it. It's Jumbo Shrimp at Red Lobster, starting at $11.99. Choose your irresistible favorite, like hand-breaded jumbo crunch fried or mouth-watering jumbo scampi. Or try new Mediterranean jumbo shrimp pasta. Tender shrimp tossed in Italian herb butter with artichokes, fresh tomatoes, and sautéed onions. It's Jumbo Shrimp for a limited time, only at Red Lobster. Own a timeshare or campground membership? Turn it into cash. Timeshares only got us our full asking price before our next monthly payment was due. Timeshares only is the nation's largest, number one, most successful timeshare agency, representing properties from the biggest names in the industry. No one sells more timeshares. Call now and receive a free information kit, including 10 secrets to timeshares. You owe it to yourself to work with the best. Don't delay. Call 800-464-3216. When dangerous weather hits while you sleep, rely on 27 News First Warning Storm Call. If you're in the path of a dangerous storm, I'll give you a phone call. First Warning Storm Call pinpoints only those neighborhoods in the direct path of a storm. To sign up, go to KSNT.com. KC Pride Beef. So tender, it melts in your mouth, sizzling with robust flavor, dripping with juiciness, and always delicious bite after bite. KC Pride Beef, exclusively from Price Chopper. 
just right. Welcome back to Bramlage Coliseum on the campus of Kansas State University in Manhattan. It's halftime between the Wildcats and the Tigers. Time now to check out this week's Classroom Champ brought to you by Phillips 66. When it comes to convenience and value, it's at the top of its class. And how about Marcus Watkins of Missouri already completing his undergraduate degree with a 3.0 grade point average. Today's Rejection of the Week is brought to you by Sonic. Rejected! Speaking of Missouri, how about this, Pipe? How about this? Texas Tech really struggling, trying to get inside Benny Valentine, but it gets it swatted by Marshall Brown. Look at a great weak side help defense. Marshall Brown putting that out of bounds. Back with more of our halftime from Manhattan in a moment. This is the boulder, not the water. And our winner, bye-bye. Aaron cow. cow. Yes, sweetie, cow. Cow. Paul, where are the burgers? For breakfast, try Chick-fil-A's tasty chicken biscuits, chicken minis, or breakfast burritos. My husband and I are constantly on the go. What with work and shuttling the kids between ballet and soccer practice. Come on, kids. It's hard to find time to care for our lawn. It's easy to overlook your lawn when you lead a busy life. That's where Scott's Lawn Service can help. Hi, I'm Ashton Ritchie with the Scott's Company. Just because you don't have the time doesn't mean you can't have a great lawn. Just give Scott's Lawn Service a call. A Scott's specialist will inspect your lawn and design a program specifically suited to its needs. And we apply Scott's proven products to your lawn. With Scott's Lawn Service, you'll never again face lawn problems alone. And of course, Scott's Lawn Service is guaranteed. You don't sign any contract, and you can stop the service at any time. Give Scott's Lawn Service a call. Get the convenience of a lawn service and the confidence of knowing it's Scott's. For a free, no-obligation lawn analysis, call now, 800-238-1400. That's 800-238-1400. Working from home changed my life. It all started when I was referred by this free service. With all the money I made working from home, I bought a new home. This is the one website you have to visit. Put your computer to work now. All you need is a computer and a little belief in yourself. I'm making $5,000 a month. I make over $7,000 a month working part-time. I love the lifestyle my home business offers. And the money's great, too. Log on to 13career.com now. Welcome back at Studio 66 with a road trip tonight to Manhattan, Kansas and Bramlage Coliseum for the Wildcats, a narrow lead over the visiting Missouri Tigers, 36-33. With Chris Piper, I'm Dave Armstrong. Chris, a wild, crazy first half. Anybody have the edge in this one? Well, I, you know, it's just start and go again because it's basically a three-point game. You know, Kansas State comes out strong early, then Missouri claws their way back in it, but a lot of basketball left. All right, let's check out our first half highlights brought to you by Shelter Insurance. Well, right off the get-go, you're thinking Kansas State's going to run away with this. Akeem Wright gets hot, just squaring up and going right. Right over the top offensively, and Clint Stewart coming off the, the screen on down low. Good ball reversal to three, but the little fella from Missouri trying to make up for his rough game at Columbia. Stephon Hanna with the drive, then he spots up for the three. Now watch him getting it inside again. Just good body control, finds his way, curling off the top screen and getting inside. And again, the Marshall Brown watch for Missouri. He has been non-existent in the first half. See if he can get going here in the second half. Well, Hanna certainly got going with 10 first half points. For all your insurance needs, visit shelterinsurance.com to find the shelter agent near you. Seek shelter today. And the guy that didn't need any shelter at all was David Hoskins of Kansas State. He had 11 first half points for the Wildcats with a three point halftime lead. Back with a second half right after these messages. Are you one of these kinds of dads? When the kids came along, did you promise yourself, I never want to look back and wish I'd spend less time at the office? Then you should get to know Shelter Insurance. We're here to help people who plan their lives around their families by offering life insurance that's built for your needs. Life insurance that's right for you and right for the people who depend on you. Shelter Insurance. Seek shelter today. 
Pretty good extreme tots, huh? Pretty great, man. Yeah. A lot of flavors. It's like a big flavor collision. Yeah, you know? totally. It's like a tater tot comet landed and went through a onion field and scared the cows so bad that cheese came out of the cows. Whoa, 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 then... whoa, whoa. Tater tot comet? Hold on. Listen, I'm not even done. Weird. Okay. You didn't even give me a chance to finish before well, you start poking well, holes well, in it. Extreme Tots, only at Sonic. Crispy Tots topped with chili, cheese, onions, jalapenos, and ranch dressing. And try one with a Powerade for the perfect extreme meal. Introducing the all-new Silverado from Chevy, the most dependable, longest-lasting trucks on the road. Backed by the best coverage in America, better than Ford, Dodge, and Toyota. No wonder Silverado was named the 2007 Motor Trend Truck of the Year. And now, get $1,000 trade-in bonus cash from Chevy. This is our country. See your local Chevy dealer. And now for today's grain markets. Soybeans are up with NK brand Roundup Ready Beans leading the way. Growers can earn up to a total of 21 cents more per bushel with NK beans and selected Syngenta crop protection products. This unprecedented grain premium is good on your first 60 bushels per acre. Talk to your Garst, Golden Harvest, or NK brand seed dealer today about how you can earn an additional 21 cents per bushel with NK Roundup Ready Beans. Big 12 basketball brought to you by Phillips 66. Next time you're empty, fill up with Conoco and Phillips 66 quality propane gasolines. By Sonic, it's not just good, it's Sonic good. By Chevrolet, check out the all new Silverado today. And by Shelter Insurance. For all your insurance needs, visit shelterinsurance.com to find a shelter agent near you. Seek shelter today. Well, you see Kansas State leading by three. They started this game with 10 straight points before Missouri ever got on the board. The Tigers with a nice little comeback to get within three. Take now a look at our drive to Oklahoma City, brought to you by Chevrolet, an American revolution. And when you look at the standings in the Big 12 Conference, updated to Texas A&M win over Iowa State tonight. They are now in that tie with Kansas. Those two will go head-to-head, -head, 8 o'clock on ESPN Saturday night. Plus, it'll be ESPN game day all day in Lawrence, Kansas. Texas, and they're right now trailing Texas Tech in Lubbock with a 5-1 and one record overall. Kansas State with this nice little run. Four straight conference wins for the first time in Big 12 history for the Wildcats. And Missouri, they've won two in a row after they dropped the first four. Well, the most important thing to me right, is right here on the uh, standings. What's going to happen at the number four spot? That's the thing that's really, I think, wide open right now in the Big 12. And obviously, we've seen how the uh, Big 12 championships come down. It's all about not playing on Thursday if you want to be able to come away with that thing with the championship. I agree. But those top four teams, those top four seeds, they are absolutely valued in this conference. It's, I think, almost nigh impossible, Chris, to win the Big 12 tournament if you have to play three days in a well, row. Well, we've like seen that. teams get to the championship game, but once they get there out of the Thursday bracket, they're just done. I mean, four, four, four days, days in a row. Yeah, yeah, four days, four games in four days, just too much. It really is. So, first half stats. How about Missouri? They outshot. Kansas State by just a decimal, 46.4% to 46.2%. And then rebounding ended up being again an edge for Kansas State. The familiar tune of Wabash Cannonball here, echoing through the chambers of Bramlage Coliseum. Leading scores, Hannah, who had just seven points in the earlier meeting, he winds up with 10 here in Manhattan. Hoskins, the leading score for Kansas State with 11 points. He was very efficient. One of the differences in this game right now, the Wildcats, nine of 10 from the line. Missouri is four of four. Yeah, this is such an important game for Kansas State. You know, they've got things going their direction. Five straight wins now, four in the Big 12 in a row. But, you know, after this home game here, they go to Texas Saturday, and they have at Kansas. Then they get to come home with Colorado, then back on the road at Nebraska. I mean, that's a pretty tough four-game swing there. You get Colorado at home, which 
is one that you definitely got to be able to hold the home court. But those two games back to back on the road at Texas at Kansas. This is one for Kansas State to do not want to let slip away. You're right a home game here against Missouri and trying to keep that momentum going as they head to Texas on Saturday. Mike Anderson his team they return home to take on Nebraska and they go to Iowa State they'll try to beat the Cyclones who came back to beat them after trailing by 16 in the second half and then they have that match up with the Kansas Jayhawks after that. Hanna again. He's able to slice through the defense and it's a one point ball game. Well he slices through the defense because the big fella Kalen Grimes came out and took out the defense with a high pick up at the top. Let's see if Missouri can capitalize on that last little run there. Keep the momentum going. Stewart can't get it to go, and it's Cologne up over the back with the foul. That's his first. Watch the pick set up top here by Kalen Grimes. Going to come to you from your right-hand side, and he just takes him out. Now watch. He's going to be able to go around, circle, and go to the basket. Look at how wide open that is. Just opens up everything. Weak side help on the far side. Clint Stewart not off far enough to be able to help. Him. Worried about the three outside for Matt Lawrence. Very colorful. A rainbow arrows and a pot of gold at the end of that rainbow. Hannah for three. Got it. And Missouri leads for the first time in this game. Five straight points for the Tigers to open the second half. Harris. And that would have kind of had it gone. Horton with the foul. The foul on Horton. That's his first. And Lance Harris will be going to the line. Harris a bit of a struggle in this game so far. He is just one of five from the field, only three points. And I think he's a guy that can really help this Kansas State team on the offensive end. He's shooting 39% from three. He can do so many things, though. He's got the ability to shoot it from the outside, and we've seen him so many times get hot. Streaky shooter. But the other thing is he can put it down on the floor and take it to the basket. He's a guy that really compliments, I think, David Hodgkins. Wow, missed both free throws. That's a rarity for Lance Harris. Well, I'm not sure it was a pleasant halftime for Lance Harris. Coach Huggins was just absolutely livid with him for that last play where he, instead of trying to make the layup, he tried that pass that ended up in a layup. Last two points there by Missouri. And he tried that fancy pass back to Cartier Martin that was picked off. Marshall Brown, remember, he loves the second half. He hits a three, eight straight points by the Tigers. Well, he was two of six in the first half. That was a wide open look for him, though. A five point Tiger lead. Remember, they trailed by as many as 11 in this contest. And a timeout called here by Bob Huggins. So it's Mizzou taking it to the Wildcats. Mike Anderson is pleased with what his team is doing. Back after this from Phillips 66. Honey, I think I found the problem. Want an easy way to keep your engine clean? Use Phillips 66 Quality Pro Clean Gasolines. They meet the tough standards to help keep your engine running its best. Phillips 66 Quality Pro Clean Gasolines. There are five ways to satisfy a jumbo shrimp craving, and only one place to do it. It's Jumbo Shrimp at Red Lobster, starting at $11.99. Choose your irresistible favorite, like hand-breaded jumbo crunch fried or mouth-watering jumbo scampi. Or try new Mediterranean jumbo shrimp pasta. Tender shrimp tossed in Italian herb butter with artichokes, fresh tomatoes, and sautéed onions. It's Jumbo Shrimp for a limited time, only at Red Lobster. Experience is an excellent teacher. And what over 45 years of experience has taught Oppenheimer Funds is the strength of a balanced approach and the effectiveness of a diversely skilled team. Valuable lessons that guide us through an ever-changing financial landscape. Oppenheimer Funds, the right way to invest. Carefully consider fund investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses. Call your advisor for a prospectus with this and other fund information. Read it carefully before investing. Introducing the all-new Silverado from Chevy. 
the most dependable, longest-lasting trucks on the road. Backed by the best coverage in America, better than Ford, Dodge, and Toyota. No wonder Silverado was named the 2007 Motor Trend Truck of the Year. And now, get $1,000 trade-in bonus cash from Chevy. This is our country. See your local Chevy dealer. to the first half, 12 straight points by Missouri. Well, they've been fantastic here in the second half. Was it great offense or bad defense? You be the judge on this. Watch this. Look at this lane. Just wide open right down the middle. Nobody coming over for Kansas State. And then again, another ball fake. Overreaction by Kansas State. And then Marshall Brown wide open at the top off a little handoff. And Bob Huggins probably decided it. It was poor defense, called that timeout, try to get his team to regroup. Missouri's been great here in the second half. Boy, they have. This is sort of like the way the game started, only opposite. Kansas State scored the first 10 points of this contest. Malone working it inside Hoskins. That's a better look off the timeout. Well, that whole play is made by David Hoskins setting his man up early, getting him underneath the basket. So by the time the ball comes to the top, he's got his man pinned, and all he has to do is turn and score. Well, so much about offense. It's not just going to the right place. It's going to the right place at the right time. And another three for Mizzou. Stefan Hanna, he is red hot tonight. 13 points in this contest. Yeah, that offense starts going for you. All of a sudden, your defense feels a lot better. You get a little hop in your step. Hoskins count that and a foul on Brown. Second on Marshall Brown. Hoskins has scored 18 points against the Tigers in Columbia. He's doing it again to this Missouri team. You know, good recognition by David Hoskins. The time down before we saw him just turn and score because he was close to the basket. That time he gets pushed out a little bit by Marshall Brown. So he squares up, faces up to him a little bit, and able to go over the top. I think pound for pound, Hoskins, one of the toughest matchups in this conference. Hell, inch for inch, you're right. Six foot five, probably more like six foot four. Crafty player offensively, really knows how to read the defense and take what they're giving him. 16 points for Hoskins and a foul here. That's going against Clint Stewart. That'll be the first on Stewart. Foul is called on Dave Stage Clint Stewart. His first personal foul, second team foul. Nice inbounds play by Missouri and Matt Lawrence. A good pass on the inbounds play from Hannah. Missouri's just picking Kansas State apart right now. Get any shot they want. His own defense again by Mizzou. Harris with a bad pass. He's back in the doghouse. I'm not sure he's in the doghouse right now. He's out there beyond the back fence. <laughs> On the other side of the fence, maybe. He's got to do a little work to get in that house. Whistle and a foul here. That's going to be called against Hoskins. And that's the first on David Hoskins. I watch Matt Lawrence now working on the inbound. He's right over here on this side. And watch him go to work. Kansas State setting up. They're going to spread it out a little bit. He's going to come up and set the back screen. Look, now they go to help a little bit. Whoops, pops right back to the middle. Kansas State, Lance Harris overreacting. He was playing the play, and instead, Matt Lawrence doing what a great offensive player does, read the defense. Lawrence then missed a three. And still, Mizzou with a five-point advantage after trailing by 11 in this game. That move by Lawrence, was that? that's all by design on their inbounds play, right? Do you get lost in the shuffle, and, or is that just well, he him? He's going to come off for adjusting. the three on the right-hand side, and he saw the defense adjust, and so he adjusted, came right back in the middle. Heads-up play by a guy who was on an academic scholarship, and right now the Tigers lead by five. Before you answer any questions about your insurance needs, doesn't it make sense to see the insurance company's report card first? Shelter insurance looks like this. We're rated A for excellent by AM Best, the national firm that rates financial strength and operating performance. Here's more good news. 
9 out of 10 customers say they'd recommend us to someone else. An excellent rating and satisfied customers. Shelter Insurance. What better place to look for insurance? Plus their guard play is so much stronger. They can basically go nine people deep yeah. and not lose anything. You no. Know? And the other, yeah, the other guys are like starting maybe six man. Right. Yeah, maybe six that. man. Right. Rejected. Don't you bring that weak tot action. You go strong to your mouth and you don't go at all. <laughs> Coney and Tots. Grab an extra long chili cheese Coney and Tots for just $2.99. Now it's for real at totrejection.com. Rejected. Remember the anticipation of hearing the ice cream truck? In Poland, Cargill borrowed the idea for something quite different. Small Polish farms had difficulty getting affordable feed for their smaller herds of animals. So Cargill created a way to bring the feed directly to them on musical delivery trucks, selling a few bags per visit. Keeping the small farmers competitive and their animals happier. This is how Cargill works with customers. It's Big 12 basketball this Saturday on your 27 News Channel. First up at 3, it's Oklahoma State on the road to take on Colorado. Then at 7, it's Texas Tech at Oklahoma. Big 12 basketball this Saturday on your 27 News Channel. All new. How did they do that? A top secret performance. I've never seen anything like this. That was fantastic. A brilliant invention that makes women look thinner. Oh, my goodness. Plus the million-dollar moment that left me speechless. Tomorrow's open. Tomorrow at 4. Well, you look in on that huddle from Missouri. They've got to be thrilled with what they have done here in the second half to forge in front by 5, 46, 41. Also good every time you come here to Manhattan to see this friendly face. Bill Snyder, who brought back the Kansas State football program, now retired. And I wonder if in his retirement he's doing a little golfing. Reminds us to remind you that it's not too early to start thinking about that 2007 ESPN National Golf Challenge. Log on to ESPNGolf.com to register your team or to sign your course up as a qualifying site. Be a part of the search for America's Bass Twosome. Missouri 5 of 5 here in the second half. Hoskins with only three to shoot it had to force one up a little bit. Lions would have counted had it gone. A foul here on Martin. Cartier Martin with his second foul. Four team fouls already on the Wildcats this half. The line will be Leo Lyons. Missouri, look at them, all of a sudden shooting 55%. They started this game down in the 20s. You would expect them to get more steals than Kansas State. They lead the conference in that department and are number two in the country, averaging 11.5. Well, important now for Kansas State to start trying to get something to go. Important for their confidence more than anything. Still a lot of game left. Hoskins, no. What a nice putback, though, by Martin. Wide open post right now for Missouri. They're going to set something up. Three-pointer, Brown, no. Good rebound by Wright. He was one of three Wildcats in the area. Didn't see a Tiger. How many chances for Mizzou on second chance opportunities here? Only six second half or second chance points for the Tigers all night. Twelve for the Wildcats. Hoskins will go to the line again. He's 5 of 5 from the charity stripe tonight. Hoskins off to another great start in this contest with 16 points. Remember, he scored 18 in the earlier meeting. Well, he's just so tough to guard. He can do it all over their floor. Face up shot there. Now inside, working away from the ball. A nice look to Cologne. And then look at the great position there. This gets him, shoves him underneath the basket. So when the ball comes to him, all he's got to do is turn to the left and finish. His first miss from the line. That's three straight misses, though, for the Wildcats. Remember, Lance Harris missed two in a row. Of Kansas State running so much right now through David Hoskins. They feel like he's the guy that can give them the advantage inside. 
In his last 14 games, he's averaged 16 points a contest. He's able to hit that free throw, so he's now six of seven from the line, 17 points. Hey, when I talk about big finishes, David Hoskins in Columbia, 14 of his points in the last 10 minutes of that game. Hannah forced that one up. Wright can't get it to go, but there's Martin again. Wow! and forth it goes and here comes Kansas State and where are they doing it on the boards had a huge advantage in Missouri watch the drive back Keem right but more important lots of Cartier Martin coming into the play from the top just finds his way the whole Missouri defense collapsing underneath and Cartier Martin gets a free shot and the finish no blocking out for the Tigers and I think that's why Mike Anderson called this time out now Bob Huggins has to be thrilled as his team comes roaring back, and Cartier Martin with two stickbacks here in the second half. Well, I tell you what, if you're struggling with your offense, a way to get points, get to the free throw line, and get on the offensive boards. And Cartier Martin, known as a jump shooter, but the senior's got to be able to do other things for him to be advantageous to this team. And he's got great length. And right now out there, he's really the tallest guy the kid the state's got on the floor. He's got to be able to get to the glass. Well, he has two field goals in this game, and they're both on stick both back. backs. Yep. You know, I always think that the, the guys that are able to see the floor from the outside, the wings, especially a wing, he's got a great advantage. He can see where the opening is and cut to the basket and find that spot. Got the crowd rejuvenated. Well, Bob Huggins is over there coaching the crowd on as well that last time. Take every little bit of help for this Kansas State team right now. He wants Huggyville to make some noise. Lawrence, from Lawrence, no. Stewart, again, good penetration, but Butterfield got back defensively. A nice regroup defensively by Kansas State that time. Inside to Grimes. They let him play. Hoskins flopped, and Ed Hightower was standing right there to say, not this time. Yeah, that's twice now David Hoskins has done that. Both times Ed Hightower has been the underneath official and has not gone for it. It'll be interesting to see as Bob Huggins is standing right near Hightower. I wonder if he'll say anything. And now Hoskins will be going back to the line. Yeah, let's take a look and see this last play down. David Hoskins. Watch Kalen Grimes now here. He's going to lean into him a little bit. Ooh. Yeah, you know what? He drew the contact. There's no question, but I don't think he hit him that hard to put him down on his back. You know, and you know what David Hoskins is doing. There he's 6'5. He's, he's actually more like 6'4. He's under there. He's trying to use every advantage to his game right there. And that's a time when. Really has done a nice job on a guy like Kalen Grimes. I'd take the contact and stand your ground and make him go over the top, make him earn those two points. By the way, Grimes picked up a foul at the other end. He has three in this game. So as they look up at that scoreboard, an amazing comeback by the Tigers, and then the Wildcats are trailed by six, inching their way back in. On the big, strong shoulders of David Hoskins. It's getting warm in here. Yeah, Mike Anderson said that's it. He ripped that jacket off. Wasn't happy about the last series of plays. Hoskins again one for two from the line that trip. Three-point game. Now Hoskins going to the bench right now for Kansas State. Let's see if he can... Get a few minutes of rest there, and Kansas State stay tight. I think Huggins said, hey, look, on that first free throw, you just look tired. I think you need a bit of a break. Hannah, he goes into the land of the Giants and is fouled by Wright. Second on Akeem Wright. That was fouled on Kansas State's Akeem Wright. Watch what's happening here on this high pick for Missouri and how Kansas State wants to guard this. Here's the action up top. And look what the big fella's doing right up here in the middle of the screen. He's shoving them out up the lane. What Kansas State is talking about doing is pushing their man up 
and really initiating that, get, taking that pick out of play, but then you've got to be able to fight underneath. And what Kansas State did that time is they fought over the top and that allowed Stephon Hanna to curl and get to the basket. We're coming to you tonight from Bramlage Coliseum in Manhattan, Kansas. A spirited contest between the Tigers and the Wildcats. Chris Piper, I'm Dave Armstrong. Glad to have you with us here in Manhattan. Missouri is led by as many as six. K-State by as much as 11. I love the sense of urgency right now in this game. Mm -hmm. This is an each possession matters a lot type game. Clint Stewart's off the floor right now. Missouri turning up the defense a little bit. Reaching in here. Keon Lawrence picks up his first foul. Fellas call the number two of the Tigers. Keon Lawrence has first personal. How long is David Hoskins going to sit? 15 fouls. Taking a breather. Doing some hard work out there. You're 6'4, you're banging inside every time, and you got to do that both on the offensive and defensive ends. Where's he at a little bit? Maybank almost lost the handle, now trapped along the sideline. Good ball moon, though, by the Wildcats. There's Martin trying for another putback. K State wanting a foul called on that. the chip shot. Harris. Cartier Martin. Baseline drive. The whole defense from Missouri is on the strong side and a good cross-court pass opens up Cartier Martin so long that he's able to bobble it and still set up for the three. Well, I love this game. This is fun. Well, it feels like the last three minutes of the game. We still got 12 minutes to go. <laughs> clean use Phillips 66 quality pro clean gasolines they meet the tough standards to help keep your engine running its best Phillips 66 quality pro clean gasolines cow good Aaron cow cow yes sweetie cow cow Paul where are the burgers For breakfast, try Chick-fil-A's Tasty Chicken Biscuits, Chicken Minis, or Breakfast Burritos. Introducing the all-new Silverado from Chevy, the most dependable, longest-lasting trucks on the road. Backed by the best coverage in America, better than Ford, Dodge, and Toyota. No wonder Silverado was named the 2007 Motor Trend Truck of the Year. And now, get $1,000 trade-in bonus cash from Chevy. This is our See your local Chevy dealer. Honey, could you come up here for a minute? Are those fish nets? Bingo. Do you know what I'm 
you, thank you. I sure do. Mm -hmm. Two fish sandwiches for four dollars at Arby's. Where are my keys? Here they are. Get dressed. Let's go. Arby's two fish sandwiches for four dollars. Crispy, flaky fish with classic tartar sauce, or introducing our new spicy Cajun tartar sauce. They'll have you saying, "I'm thinking Arby's." Phillips 66 trying to be the presenting sponsor of Big 12 basketball. Next time you're on empty, fill up with Phillips 66 quality Pro Clean gasoline. Recognize his top tier. They help clean your engine as you drive. Okay, the state doing a nice job of getting the ball down inside. Got the lead 52-51. Watch Lance driving down the late baseline. And watch what happens when he's able to draw the defense over to him and pass it over here to the corner. Just wide open out on the outside. Able to size it up for the three and nails it. Lance Harris, a great job with the drive. And then Bob Huggins giving him a little talk afterwards. Knows how important his senior is to this team. So he's back over the fence, out of the doghouse, maybe even in the house. I think he's in the house now. Got a nice rug laid out for him and everything. <laughs> Sitting by the fireplace. Yep. Warming himself up on this cold winter night. Brown misses. Horton scrambling for the ball. We've got a tie up. And the arrow will give the ball to Kansas State. Well, I don't think either coach can be upset at the intensity level that their teams are playing with. They might make some mental mistakes right now, but playing with an intense level in Kansas State. Oh, it's a game of runs, and at 11-3. Now for Kansas State to get themselves back in the lead. 12-0 run earlier for Missouri, and they led by six. Martin didn't quite grab it on the catch. They work it around to Harris. And a little pep talk from Coach Huggins. That shot, though, a little bit off. Horton gives it up. Here comes Brown. It's just a strong, strong move, isn't strong it? move. Marshall. Nice job, though, by Keon Lawrence to pass up the first three that he looked at and gets it back and waits for Marshall Brown to come over from the weak side, get himself established down low. So the Tigers back in front by one. And Kansas State's had success against his zone finding shots. It's just a matter of not really being able to get him a fall. Harris. Good moves around the basket. Can't get it to go. And a foul here on Missouri going for the rebound. Foul is number two the Tigers. That's on Keon Lawrence, and that's his second. 16 fouls. 16 fouls on the Tigers this half. You know, for the most part, these two teams are just exact mirrors of each other. They Nobody's are. really got a true big man. All the big men that they do have for both teams are sitting on the bench. And they're not great scorers at that, so it's really a game of the mid-range height guys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You'd love playing in this game. Yeah, I could be a center. <laughs> That's a scary thought. Yeah, it is scary. Off the hands of Lance Harris, and it'll belong to Mizzou. That ball was partially deflected. Yeah, pretty sharp pass for him. I think he was looking to swing it before he got the ball in his hands. Horton trying to weave his way into the paint and does. Tough move, able to get himself into the lane. Jason Horton been much more selective on the shot selection this year. Not taking as many looks. Morton who scored 13 against the Wildcats in meeting number one this year. This is his first bucket of this game. Also on a foul here on Butterfield. You know, and I thought last year Jason Horton had a tendency to force the issue a lot of times, Dave, and, and when he hadn't scored, it's it almost like, well, I feel like I need to take a shot, and he'd take a shot no matter where it came. This year, it seems like it's more in balance. Don't you think it's a better fit for him, this particular offense? He isn't the he isn't the point guard necessarily. They really have two number ones in Hannah and Horton. Well, and Stephon Hannah's got the ball in his hands and can create so many opportunities, but I think it's also about what he's being told as far as shot selection as well, and Jason Horton's botting into what uh, Mike Anderson has sold him. I think they all have, don't you? Yeah. He's got a tendency to revert a little bit sometimes, but I think that he's, he's got him playing hard. That's that's the first battle that you got to overcome when, with a new team. 
get them to buy into the fact that you're going to require them to play hard every time. Mayfield can't hit either free throw. And the rebound eventually tracked down by Brown. Now Keon Lawrence wide open for three. Can't get it to go. Lance Harris, he beats out Butterfield and Brown and then deflected out of bounds. It'll belong back to Missouri. Yeah, we said it earlier, you got to be strong with the ball right now. They're letting it be a physical game. They're calling it very consistent. Harris, after that turnover, back off that rug by the fireplace. Yep. Edging toward the back door. The rug got pulled. <laughs> and now another guy, Maybank. He may be edging Lance Harris out of that doghouse. Hightower, there goes Horton. Hightower went flying out of there. And it's Bennett who's going to have the fuck. And Hightower's not happy about it. Oh, he didn't like getting taken out of the play. But I tell you what, watch Jason Bennett on this. He's slow coming over, and then he hits him. Gets the hip on him and shoves him out. And that actually Horton hit Ed Hightower and knocked him backwards. And then Hightower came in as you were looking at this. was kicked. Shot clock will stay at 27. This game's got it all now. I mean, fans upset with the officials. Yep. Both teams hitting on all cylinders at times, misfiring at other times, runs by both teams. A spirited crowd. And then three-point shots like that from Keon Lawrence. And look out, Mizzou matching their biggest lead of the game again at six. Seven straight points by the Tigers. gathered the ball. It was a great read coming to that open spot. Marshall Brown came with him initially and then gave him up. Butterfield blocked by Bennett. And then an ill-advised pass. That's twice now for Clint Stewart in transition. Can't give those opportunities away, not when Missouri's making you work so hard on the defensive end. The zone defense has stifled Missouri's rhythm a little bit, turning it into a half-court game. Brown shot well short. Kansas State says, let's slow it down a little bit. Missouri loves to get you into a frenzied pace. Now Missouri wants to get up and down the floor, get a quick early shot. Kansas State much better when they set up their defense, and you're allowed to set up your, deep, or your offense. Since Missouri scored 81 in the earlier meeting. And a three-pointer here by Cartier Martin. Since that moment, four straight games, Kansas State has held their opponents to 61 or less. And now Missouri calls a timeout. Good pass by David Hoskins through the defense to that high post area, which is in the weak spot for the Missouri zone. And Cartier Martin spotting up at the three. You've got to know where he is at. Kansas State's on the floor. There's not a lot of guys out there that are going to hurt you from the three. You've got to be able to communicate to those guys. Time now to take a look at our assist leaders brought to you by Cargill. Collaborate, create, and succeed. DJ Augustine, we talk a lot about Kevin Durant and rightfully so of Texas, but if it wasn't for Durant, who knows, Augustine might be the freshman of the year in the Big 12. How helpful is it for your assist numbers, though, to be able to throw it to a guy who's averaging 30 points in Big 12 play? Well, you would know. <laughs> I mean, well, yeah. That's very helpful. Okay. Yeah. I think you can answer your own question yeah. there. 
But he is great. Boy, he is so fast. Of course, you work with Danny Manning, one of the best. Lob it inside. Brown blocked by Martin. That's that play blocked, yep. really by Brown himself. Yep. Try to lob over the top. Three Kansas State defenders right there, though. Bennett's making his presence felt inside. Well, if he can stay out of the way on the offensive end and just can't concentrate on the defensive end, it's a real big bonus for K-State. He said when he was in high school, Chris, that he wouldn't even come back for offense. He just tell he had enough offensive players on his team. He said, I'll just stay back here and play defense. And they let him do it somehow. So Bennett and the Wildcats within one with 6.15 remaining. Hey. Hey. That'll be uh, 75. It, it's usually $30. I went to Vegas last weekend. Pretty crazy. Although it seemed like you were having a much better time. <laughs> so 75? Yep. Nice job on the lawn today. We aim to please. Pretty good extreme tots, huh? Pretty great, man. Yeah. A lot of flavors. It's like a big flavor collision. Yeah, you know? totally. It's like a tater tot comet landed and went through a onion field and scared the cows so bad that cheese came out of the cows. Whoa, 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 then... whoa, whoa. Tater tot comet? Hold on. Listen, I'm not even done. Weird. Okay. You didn't even give me a chance to finish before well, you start poking holes in it. Extreme Tots, only at Sonic. Crispy Tots topped with chili, cheese, onions, jalapenos, and ranch dressing. And try one with a Powerade for the perfect extreme meal. If you're looking to ramp up your ride, get ready. Advance Auto Parts has a special order center just for you. You're a one-of-a-kind, one-stop shop for everything you could ever want in parts and performance accessories. Everything from lift kits to cool custom accessories is ready for direct-to-your-door delivery or convenient in-store pickup. When you want the most complete selection of parts and accessories, the only place to go is the special order center in Advance Auto Parts. We're ready in advance. Financial Select Sector Spider. Visit us on the web at sectorspdrf.com or call 1 800 the Amex now. The seesaw battle between these two teams. Marshall Brown has been a big part of the offense for Mike Anderson. And right now it's the Tigers who lead Kansas State by one. Here's an advanced look at upcoming games brought to you by Advance Auto Parts. For the best parts, people, and price, we're ready in advance. We've already talked about Missouri taking on Nebraska, then at Iowa State and at Kansas. And Kansas State, boy, they got a tough road to hoe here with two road games at Texas and then at KU. It yeah, doesn't get it any easier from this point for Kansas State. Or from Missouri, road games coming up. But I think uh, once you get to this point of the Big 12 season, there's not any easy games left on the schedule for the most part. Cartier Martin, who again does not start in games right now for Kansas State. That's his 17th point of this game to go along with 10 rebounds. 11 points here in the second half for Cartier Martin. Kansas State dominating on the glass again, 34-18. Rebound advantage for K-State. So K-State back in front by one. Fun to look at those advanced schedules, but let's talk about the here and now. This is pretty good. Hannah looking for some space. Bennett with a foul. Nice little pump fake there by Lyons. That was going on. Good little two-man game there by Missouri. That's a 17th foul. Leo Lyons setting the pick, trying to get himself against Stephon Hanna open. Then he comes back down and gets the ball underneath. 
see where he caught the ball. And that was all because he set his man up and Bennett tried to go help up top and then he was able to push him up the lane and allow that pass down. That good angle, able to turn to the basket. Got knocked on the head. Maybe a flying elbow from Bennett who was trying to block that shot. Bennett who had eight blocks in one game against Chicago say that's a new record for the Wildcats. Lions misses both free throws. Two big misses for Mizzou there under six minutes to go. It up, Blake Young. Three pointer. Now Missouri a little out of sync that time defensively. Kansas State a good, again great patience. And a blocking foul here on Young. That's three on Blake Young, and Hannah will be going to the line. Yeah, Blake Young shooting 28 percent from three, and look again how wide open he is. Little penetration drawn over that defense, looking for the drive and then the kick out. Kansas State has really done a nice job, I thought, all night long against that Missouri defense. Finally, no connect. Hannah misses the front end of a one and one. Three straight misses at the line for the Tigers. A proficient scorer from Daytona Beach Community College. He averaged 29 points a game there. Dean Wright, who started off so strong. Now Hoskins, how that? Man, he's tough. Well, he can take the hit inside, and he's able to readjust once you give him the hit. But look where he catches the ball. Look where he is right now. And got the defense on the back side of him with the ball only about five feet away. You've got to be able to either get him out of the lane or get on the high side of that. You can't allow David Hoskins to catch the ball down on that low block. If I'm Jason Bennett, I go to David Hoskins and say, teach me your low post moves. Because if Bennett can even grasp any of that, wow, he would be really dangerous. Well, Jason Bennett just needs to learn a turnaround jumper at seven foot three. Nobody's going to block that. That's right. right now. Confidence booster. Marshall Brown, Stephon Hanna got to step up. Shot clock goes at 35 and frozen there. I think some ice got in on the shot clock and just froze it. Well, a good thing actually for Missouri for that whistle because they were going nowhere in that offensive series. So now they'll go to the monitors to determine how long and how far down that shot clock will be reset. What do we start at? 450? 450, 450, 450, yep. 451. That's 10 right there. 11, 12, 13, 14. As Stephon Hanna catches here a little bit later, and he looks up at the shot clock as he's feeling like they've run some time off and want to know how much is there, and he looks, and it's 35 seconds still. So again, 4.51 is where it started. And then the shot clock, and we're at 4.26 right, right now, so you've got to be at 10 seconds on the shot clock. Good thing. So 4.51, down to 4.26. Yep. You've got the math. Yeah, the student body here at K-State doing a nice job of staying revved up while this uh, game is halted. Now they stop it at 426. So you take 25 seconds off. It's either 10 or 11 seconds. 10 or 11 is what they're going to set it at. Mid high tower, Steve Wellmer over at that scores table looking at the monitor. It's going to be either 10 or 11 seconds.
still plenty of time for Missouri to get a good shot. No matter if it's 10 or 11. Now they're just looking at themselves. Yeah. Oh my. Yeah, my shirt's got some wrinkles right a little yeah, bit there. You know what? Wait a minute. This shirt isn't fitting just right. <laughs> <laughs> well, not a bad uh, situation for Mizzou here. They really weren't getting anything out of that possession, and they were going to have to set something up on the fly. Now they've had a chance to use this timeout, or not the timeout, but the stop and the play to set up a play here now with 10 seconds on the shot clock is where it's been set. That's fair. 10 seconds. That's what we counted down 25 seconds from 451. The other side too is Bob Huggins able to set up defense. Maybe he'll switch it up now and give him a different look than what Missouri was looking at that last time. Remember Missouri is down to one timeout remaining. Huggins still has three. So Mike Anderson he could Kind of look at that as sort of a mini timeout for him. Try to get his team to regroup after Kansas State has rattled off 13 straight points. The shot clock winding down. Well, he wanted to drive over here to his left to get it over on the Matt Lawrence side, initiate the defense to him and open up Lawrence, but Hoskins wouldn't let him turn the corner. Numbers now for K-State. Good block, though, by Butterfield. Brown. And here come the Tigers. How about that? Five points, just Good like that. Down. What a bad decision last time down by Lance Harris. Here we are, two-point game again. Just when you thought Kansas State was starting to get some comfort. I don't think it's going to be comfort until that clock reached zero for either team. Nice pass. Oh, right. Lucky to get it back. He missed a chip shot originally. Tough as that. He just gets you on his shoulder and goes. Yeah, and he gets that ball on his hip too, doesn't he? Yeah, well, Kansas State's overplaying too. They're getting they're trying to drive up the sideline, but instead they're letting him drive past it. Get those feet too far turned. Blake Young. Nice dish inside. Cartier Martin with 20 points in this game. Uh, too easy there. Able to get right in and then no communication on the backside for Missouri. And Stephon Hanna looking for some help right now for somebody else. Ball goes out of bounds. And it will stay with the Tigers when we come back. Don't go anywhere. We're ready for an exciting finish from Manhattan. And certainly Cartier Martin knows how to finish. The Wildcats leading by four. They fire the coals with precision, mixing sauces, marinades, and rubs in secrecy. They are barbecue fanatics in search of perfect taste. But perhaps starting with better pork is the real secret. Cargill worked with customers to create more marbled cuts of pork. With special feeds and selection techniques, we achieved the tenderness people craved and a taste as classic as those who cook it. This is how Cargill works with customers. There are five ways to satisfy a jumbo shrimp craving and only one place to do it. It's Jumbo Shrimp at Red Lobster starting at $11.99. Choose your irresistible favorite like hand-breaded jumbo crunch fried or mouth-watering jumbo scampi. Or try new Mediterranean jumbo shrimp pasta. Tender shrimp tossed in Italian herb butter with artichokes, fresh tomatoes, and sautéed onions. It's Jumbo Shrimp for a limited time only at Red Lobster. Introducing the all-new Silverado from Chevy, the most dependable, longest-lasting trucks on the road. Backed by the best coverage in America, better than Ford, Dodge, and Toyota. No wonder Silverado was named the 2007 Motor Trend Truck of the Year. And now, get $1,000 trade-in bonus cash from Chevy. This is 
See your local Chevy dealer. I'm meteorologist Bruce Jones. Tonight at 10 o'clock on the 27 News Night Beat, all your news and sports, plus the latest weather. We had some very light snow pass through the area today, but it was enough to cause some serious travel problems. Any more in the forecast? First warning weather here at 10. When dangerous weather hits while you sleep, rely on 27 News First Warning Storm Call. If you're in the path of a dangerous storm, I'll give you a phone call. First Warning Storm Call pinpoints only those neighborhoods in the direct path of a storm. To sign up, go to KSNT.com. Well, right now it's Kansas State leading by four, 69-65 with 2.25 remaining. Let's take a look now at our Red Lobster, nothing but net shot of the game. Well, Stephon Hanna, look at him getting him on the hip, putting the ball on the hip, and then driving in, throwing that little lob pass, shot, drop, whatever you want to call it. And he does a nice job of just being able to, you know, once he able, he's able to explode pass, you just turn. And you know what I love about him, even at his small size, he, he likes to initiate the contest. Contact, get you on the shoulder, and then he's got you beat. Now look at our star watch. You picked a couple of good ones, Chris. Yeah, they've had great games. Stephon Hanna, knew it was going to be a bounce back for him, and then David Hoskins, a man that I think everything goes through for Kansas State. Brown with a quick first step and a whistle and a foul. This on Bennett, and that'll be four on the big fella. Foul is called on Kansas State's face and it his fourth personal foul, 19 foul. Marshall Brown having a good second half. Of course. Number 15, Marshall 15 Brown. 15 points in this game for Brown overall. But this game is so close by the numbers. Both teams 12 to 23 in the second half. Amazingly, I mean, you look at it. 25 field goals for Missouri, 24 for Kansas State. Eight three-pointers for Missouri, six for the Wildcats. Wildcats with 15 made free throws. Missouri, they've now missed four straight free throw attempts. They're seven of 12 from the line. Now Kansas State evens out the free throw and rebound advantage by turning the ball over seven more times than Missouri has. Nothing unusual there for Missouri. They generally force more turnovers. Mm -hmm. Actually, 14 turnovers against Missouri. That's not bad. You know, the turnovers that Kansas State has had for the most part have been unforced turnovers. Mm -hmm. Nearing that two-minute mark. Glenn Stewart back in the game for Kansas State. Got a couple key turnovers in transition. Hoskins. That won't go. And Marshall Brown fighting for that rebound with Cartier Martin, and it's Brown who picks up his third foul. Yeah, Cartier Martin comes into this game averaging four rebounds a game. And what's that, number 12 for him? 11, 11. Number 11. How many of those on the offensive end? David Hoskins gets the ball deflected, still strong enough to be able to get it, but here's Cartier Martin on the weak side once again, active on the glass. Eight of those to Eight answer your question. Wow. To use your turn. No cost here, yeah. Copyrighted. <laughs> what a game for Martin. Remember, he only had six points at the half, 15 second half points for Cartier. You know, it says a lot for Cartier Martin. He's always been the focal point of this Kansas State offense for the most part during his career here as a senior now coming off the bench. Big for him to be able to stay focused and give you the other thing. You know, the thing is, too, tonight, it hasn't been like the offense has run through Cartier. He's run into the exactly. offense. He's gotten a lot of hustle points tonight. Oh, tough move. How about that move by Keon Lawrence? What a stop. Gutsy move there by the freshman. Stops on a dime behind the back. Little jumper. Now run a little clock here, but you've got to still be aggressive for Kansas State. Look at an opportunity. And a timeout here by Bob timeout Huggins. Kansas State. Leaving nothing to chance. 109 remaining. All right, let's check out some other scores. And Texas Tech hosting Texas, and Texas who trailed by four in the first half. They come back and beat the Red Raiders. 
The Longhorns certainly a force to be reckoned with, and they're getting better and better and better as those freshmen grow up. Good road win for them, young team. When you look at the Big 12 then, with the win by the Longhorns, and again earlier tonight, Texas A&M beat Iowa State. So it's A&M and Kansas both at six and one. They are joined now by the Texas Longhorns. So a three-way tie atop the Big 12. No surprise by those three teams. Oklahoma State at four and two. As you mentioned, look at that log jam with Oklahoma State, Kansas State, Texas Tech, Oklahoma and Missouri are all still a part of that as well. Yeah, a lot of basketball left to be played. Oklahoma State at Colorado this weekend. Shot clock at 15. One minute. Young. What a rebound by Hoskins. Wow. Now Brown. He lost the handle. Out of bounds. It belongs to the Wildcats. A nice hustle by Kansas State coming down the floor. David Hoskins coming in here looking for the pass initially, but then he just seeks and goes and gets the ball in pursuit of the rebound, one of the keys for Kansas State here tonight. 24 second chance points by the Wildcats, only six for the Tigers. Huge numbers for Kansas State. That helps out their offense. They're not great scoring team, so you gotta find those opportunities to earn points that they're getting them the hard way on the offensive glass. Well, Keem Wright will be the one going to the line. Bob Huggins, his team trying to win their sixth straight game, five of those in the Big 12. You look back, the last time that the Wildcats had this long a streak in conference play, way back in the 89-90 season in the Big 8. That was the Mitch Richmond-led team. A big free throw there by Akeem Wright, 65% on the season. And, you know, the best way to gain confidence is to win. Winning is a thing you got to learn how to do it, how to finish games out, and Kansas State starting to do that. Two big free throws there for Akeem Wright. In for Kansas State, number 55. touch it for a while and as soon as he touches it the clock will start he almost cost himself a turnover three-pointer Matt Lawrence no and they can start celebrating a little bit at Kansas State start of this half looked like Missouri was just going to run away with this game and hide Mike Anderson's team then some adjustments were made they started to struggle a little bit on offense and Kansas State made this great comeback yeah both teams have had their share of runs had their share of guys stepping up and making plays ultimately I think Missouri is going to look back at this game and have to point at the second chance points for Kansas State was free throws the first time in Columbia. Had a huge rebound advantage there as well for Kansas State, but again, they're getting those opportunities here. Nice shot Lawrence. again by Keon Lawrence. Glenn Stewart was trapped in the corner and he called timeout. Stewart saying, I did not want to turn that yeah. one over. Not a bad move there. Turn the ball over that far, that close to Missouri's basket, give them an opportunity, especially out there, to kick it back for a three, and all of a sudden it's a four-point game. Coach Huggins wanted to know where will the ball be set. So as he sets his inbounds play, he wanted to know exactly where the starting point was. So when you look at things now, basically both teams are going to be over the double foul limit. Be the tenth on K-State the next time they commit a foul. Only one turnover for each team remaining. If there is a tie-up, the Tigers would get the ball. Yeah, right now for Kansas State, the rebound has been to their advantage. And at the end of the game, a situation like this, this is when you give up an offensive rebound, it's the best time for another team to be able to get a three off of it. So 
He's obviously got to be talking about getting the ball inbounds, number one. You don't want to turn it over close to your basket, get it down the floor. Obviously, Missouri's going to go with a quick foul, but when you're on the defensive end, you got to be able to get to those boards. Wildcats have had only two season series sweeps of the Tigers since 1984. Looking to turn the trick here, and they get it down to right. The exclamation point. for right and another foul. Let's tack on a few more. That Kansas State starting to establish something here, aren't they? They are. We got the crowd here. Bob Huggins called them out. Got the students here. They have been fired up the entire game. It's helped their team in some situations. Clint Stewart looking down the floor. Akeem Wright just breaks. Missouri overplaying down here on the other end, looking for that all-important steal. And safety man forgets about Akeem Wright going. And the quarterbacks on Sunday be happy with that touchdown pass, wouldn't they? Wright adds another point. Now, yeah, more importantly, Akeem Wright finished it. Yep. 12 points for Wright. He started off. In a good fashion for Kansas State, got them on a roll. The Wildcats scored the first 10 points of this game, and that's their lead right now. To me, though, this game turned in the second half on the play of Cartier Martin. Yeah, you're exactly right about that. Getting on the offensive glass. Hannah with three more. That matches now his career high that he set against Mississippi State. Hannah with 27 tonight. But Cartier Martin with 22 points. All but six of those here in the second half. More impressive, though, for Martin, his 11 rebounds and eight of those coming on the offensive eight end. Eight offensive. You know, sometimes if your role gets changed and you're a senior, a lot of guys will, you know, pout about it. and They'll come out on the floor and they'll take quick shots just to, to do it. Cartier Martin instead, he's getting his points by getting on the offensive boards. The offense hasn't been running through him here in the second half. They had an advantage with David Hoskins. They kept going with it, but Cartier Martin was able to take the ego out of the game for him and, and get on the offensive glass. So important here in the second half. And Chris, the Wildcats continue to improve their resume as they look towards March. Their RPI coming into this game at 55. It'll go up from there with this victory. And who knows if they can steal one at either Texas or Kansas. My goodness, it puts them right into the picture for March play. Yeah, there's a lot, a lot of work left to do. There's no question about it, but it's a step in the right direction. And I think that's a daily thing for, for Kansas State. It's you know, it's not as much about what their record is, but about the direction that they're going each and every time they step on the floor. I'm so impressed, too, with what Coach Huggins has been able to do because had to play without Bill Walker, then played with him for six games, and then now they've had to regroup and play without him again. Yeah, it's that hard to do. A big adjustment because everything was going to go through Bill Walker. It did go through Bill Walker. Nice job by Lance Harris pulling that back out. And Missouri is going to back off, and that will do it. Kansas State with the series sweep of the Tigers. Bob Huggins Wildcats have now won six straight games. The Wildcats move to five and two in conference play on the strength of Cartier Martin and David Hoskins. They were too much for the Tigers here tonight. So we say good night from Manhattan, Kansas. For Chris Piper and our entire crew here, Dave Armstrong saying so long. You've been watching Big 12 basketball on ESPN Plus, worldwide leader in collegiate sports television. Good night.